What is going on? My name is Andrew and welcome to my uh, video reviews of my gaming hardware. First up is going to be the SCUF uh, gaming controller and how the announcement of the animal changes uh, my recommendation of, for a SCUF uh, for the positive actually. So uh, first up let me say that I am not uh, endorsed or sponsored by SCUF gaming currently. If that were to ever change I would uh, let you know in the annotations and in the description below so that uh, I have full disclosure over my association with uh, the company. Now I have owned my Scuff Elite since uh, February of 2012 and it is currently October 2012. So uh, definitely uh, had this controller for a while. I've used it for about I would say uh, close to 350 maybe 400 hours in Modern Warfare 3 um, probably another couple hundred in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 so this controller has definitely uh, gone through the paces um, uh, this past uh, eight months now uh, this controller is configured for Call of Duty Guilds of War and Gotham City Impostors this controller is not configured for uh, Battlefield or Halo and I'll get more into that uh, later on now, uh, this controller and most of the two-button elites start at around $100. Uh, this one is $109. If you go with a regular black uh, Microsoft controller, the original wired kind, and just scuff it up with limited additions, uh, I believe they start at uh, $79. Uh, or um, I think it's $80 for the wireless and then to scuff up a uh, controller that you send into them, I think it starts at fifty dollars. So um, moving on into what is, are the features of the Elite and what makes it uh, the scuff gaming controller is unique. So first off, uh, as you notice, this has a charcoal gray paint, and uh, to the touch, this paint is very soft. I believe they call it soft paint or soft touch paint. Um, it is very soft to the touch. It feels really nice. Um, when you're holding a controller for long uh, periods of time, it's really nice to touch uh, the controller is that it's soft for your, for your top of your hand. Um, I have the blacked out buttons. Uh, they now have white out buttons. So uh, if you're getting a white controller, you can get uh, white out uh, white buttons instead of black out buttons. Now I stuck with the standard Xbox 360 controllers because I already owned Control Freaks and I also do not like the... Uh, PlayStation controls um, sticks. So if I ever get a, a PlayStation One, I'll most likely change the sticks uh, for to Xbox sticks. All right, moving on to what are some of the main features of a scuff, and that is the uh, hair triggers and the trigger stops. Now this is mainly for Call of Duty um, and Guilds of War and Gotham City Imposters, in that um, you can. With the hair triggers, what it does is it brings your trigger down closer to the end of the trigger. And with the trigger stops, it, the trigger stops stop you from depressing the trigger all the way. So if you take a look at a regular Xbox controller, you have, you know, you have to press it down all the way. Now, in a game like uh, Halo or, some, or uh, Battlefield, where the weapons don't automatically start when you begin depressing, um, you know, sometimes some of the weapons will fire as soon as you touch them, sometimes it's halfway, sometimes it's not, or you, when you hold, uh, they do special features, so that is why the trigger stop and hair triggers don't really work on um, non-Call of Duty games or that have the similar control uh, on the weapons. Now, with these hair triggers, what you do is you get a little Allen wrench that is supplied by Scuff Gaming, and they tell you the size in case you lose yours. Um, Right now, mine's misplaced, so I have to I have to look for mine, or I'm gonna end up having to use uh, my own Allen wrenches in order to turn the hair triggers. Um, now, the hair triggers are a little sensitive. Uh, if the constant tightening and untightening, I think, does cause a problem, and I think they will uh, break eventually if you keep doing it. And so, uh, if you're gonna get a two-button one, what I recommend is you get one a controller configured for. Uh, Call of Duty, if you play that a lot, but if you if you also play the other games, is to get another one to use uh, for those games because uh, currently I have to switch to uh, this controller in order to use um, 
in order to play Battlefield or Halo. So, um, now what I did when I first got the controller is I was constantly adjusting it, but it ended up breaking uh, the the adjusting mechanism, and so I had to send it into Scuff Gaming to get it fixed. Now, in response to getting it fixed, Scuff is very quick to respond to your questions and emails for a company, uh, even when they're busy. They they still get around to you. Um, and every time I talked with them, they were very polite and courteous. So I have to give major props to uh, Scuff Gaming for the customer service. Uh, they are top-notch people. Um, I highly recommend them uh, based solely off of their customer service uh, beyond um, just the controller as well. All right, um, another main feature of the Scuff Gaming as we flip it over is the Scuff Grip which uh, keeps your hand from shredding. If you're playing long play sessions or you get uh, you start shredding a lot when, when, you're, when you're playing the game, uh, I definitely recommend to, to keep the scuff grip. Um, what it does is it, it when your skin is in contact, you won't shred. But if your skin pops up, you're going to start to shred because in that gap, you'll shred. And uh, so definitely make sure when you're holding your controller, you are keeping your skin in contact with the back base. Now, uh, Right here is the seal of approval, and that says that this is a certified scuff uh, controller and that it is now authorized to be used in a competitive scene. So if you are, uh, you know, MLG, EGL, or uh, I think there's another organization, uh, they will accept uh, this as an authentic scuff. Now, uh, one of the, 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 the main reasons why you would get a scuff is, is these two things right here, which are the... Um, the back paddles. Uh, this one is A, and this one no, this one is B, and this one is A. So it's reversed when you when you flip it over. Um, and the the new announced animal with that is is that it adds two more right here. So it gives you all four of your face buttons on the back. And what that is really helpful in is that if you are if you play more than just Call of Duty, uh, it's definitely going to help you out in that you can have all the buttons on the back. Now I would recommend that having um, tested this out with my hands, um, I have medium sized hands so my fingers do make contact here so I can use the four buttons but if you have small hands it's not going to work. The, the best people who are going to really enjoy the animal are people with large hands because uh, they're going to be able to fully get the benefit of the of the middle buttons. Um, these paddles on a lot of them, you can get to where your paddle is either branded, I think on most of them it will be branded, and then a few I think are going to have the the uh, your front plates paint on them. So to touch this paddle it's very soft and hopefully the branded ones also are the soft paint. Uh, so that's pretty much all of the features of this controller. Um, with the animal, I would highly recommend the animal to someone who plays a wide variety of games. Even if you play Halo, I mean uh, Call of Duty and Halo, you can still get the hair triggers, but um, uh, I would say only do that is if you rarely play Halo or Battlefield um, versus someone who plays it all the time. If you play it all the time in conjunction with COD, I would say you, you're probably going to want to... Um, ditch these two features only because it's going to become a pain in, in, to constantly be be uh, adjusting these to switch games and or uh, you may inadvertently uh, snap or uh, break your hair trigger. As far as my recommendation of should you buy it, should you not buy a scuff or should you buy an animal scuff, um, definitely if you are a serious first person shooter gamer or uh, serious about being competitive not only in in MLG sense of you know being a pro gamer or uh, game battles but in do you take uh, pub matches competitively if you do then I highly recommend the scuff I do recommend that you keep your your drop shotting onto your stick and then put your uh, your knifing onto the back button just because it sticks a little bit uh, if you're trying to chop shot, but it doesn't stick if you, if you knife. Um, and in like one in the chamber or uh, knife game, I, I really like having that back button because it, it just gives you that added benefit to you. Just, you just tap that back button 
in your knife. So uh, I've won a, a lot of uh, knife uh, knifing matches, knife only matches that way, and have come from behind and gotten close to winning others just by that back button uh, alone. So uh, as far as that is concerned, I highly recommend the the scuff for the competitive guys. As far as the cost of the controller, you know, that's something that I really can't answer because I don't know your personal finances, but um, I do recommend the scuff. So if you're planning to, you know, get it for a birthday, Christmas, you know, definitely ask for one. Um, if you are uh, in good financial standing and it's not going to be a major sacrifice to get one, I recommend getting one. It, it will definitely change uh, how you game. Um, if you, or if it's going to be a big financial stretch for you, you know, I would definitely say uh, you're going to have to think about it, and uh, hopefully I can get you a uh, a little discount code so that you can uh, save a little percentage off of the purchase. All right, my views on the scuff controllers, they are, um, you know, they're not uh, modded controllers in the sense that they add rapid fire or something like that. I don't endorse rapid fire controllers, and therefore. Um, I will never uh, review or endorse them if they have that feature. Uh, so, um, if if you currently own one, don't use it. Don't buy people who sell rapid fire controllers because you're just perpetuating them online. But Scuff Gaming is a, a legit company. They sell um, uh, controllers that still require player skill and input, and so that is why they have my high recommendation of buy. So, um, they are a recommended buy. As far as my reviews are concerned, I'm going to also be reviewing some Gunner Optics in my next review episode, which you can see them in the top corner right there. Uh, the Scuff Gaming has also started to sell Gunner Optics, so uh, it's also fitting that uh, that is my second review. And I'll be talking about how they work. As far as... Is this controller going to make you a better player? Um, yes, the controller will make you a better player. But I believe that that better uh, playerness comes from... And yes, I did say playerness. I believe that that comes from, uh, from within. I think the controller gives you added confidence. I think if you're looking at a pure mathematical equation, I think you're probably looking at a, between a 1% and 10% increase in players in a KD ratio, um, I don't think it's going to help a whole ton. You know, if you're currently not able to get a MOAB, I don't think the controller itself is going to be able to uh, make you get a MOAB every game. It might help you get your first MOAB, um, but th that is purely because you are more confident as a gamer. So definitely it's, it's your confidence level that makes you a better gamer and not uh, any specific piece of hardware is going to make you better so that is why i fully endorse uh, this product and uh, thanks for watching and take care all right i hope you enjoyed that review um if you're new around here you can hit the subscribe button to subscribe or you can watch my previous video which is part of my borderlands 2 let's play coming up next is going to be my video on gunner optics followed by how to make an outro uh, with a moving video in it so thanks for watching, please be sure to leave me a rating, and as always, I'll see you next time.